Harry Town. Ten years ago, they were Welsh Premier and Welsh Cup double winners. Today, they're in the Welsh League Division 1, but they are through to the last eight of the Welsh Cup, where they'll meet Pondadawi Town this Saturday. On the line is their manager, Gavin Chesterfield. Hi, Gavin. Hi, how are we doing? I'm very well. Probably not as good as Barry at the moment, though. You're doing really well. Yeah, to be fair, it's uh, yes, it's been a tough time, but... Uh... You know, the difficult situations, I suppose, have sort of galvanised the squad and um, on the field at the moment, it seems to be going OK. Yeah, actually, I, I promoted you. You're last 16, not last eight. You've still got a bit to go, but, but you're right leave, in there. I was going to leave you carry on with that, if yeah. I'm being honest. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe you're confident. You're in it to win it, obviously. Oh, that would be a dream, yes, but uh, we must be realistic. Uh, we played our opponents uh, a week last Saturday in the, in the league. Uh, Pondedowie and they're a very good team so um, it should make for a, a difficult encounter but an enthralling one nonetheless You say difficulties I mean just what are you having to face at the moment Gavin? Um, I wouldn't say difficulties you know a, a lot of other clubs have got it far worse off than I you know I look at it and I'm um, extremely fortunate to be part of a good club um, I've got a great group of players around me and supporters who've been absolutely magnificent um, I suppose the difficulties lie in the fact that um, you know the the need to sort of grow the club, if you like, and the need to um, put the club back into uh, support their ownership, so that we can actually grow for the future. And how close is that to happening? There seems to be all sorts of ownership sort of uh, skirmishes, should we say? Um, yeah, um, I will say that we've got open dialogue at the moment with the uh, the current owner, and we're hopeful of uh, putting a respectable bid together within the next week or so that will hopefully be acceptable and that uh, we can finally put this club back into the hands of the supporters. And uh, Neil, do you remember sort of 10 years ago Barry Town being, uh, uh, they were even beating the likes of Swansea City and Cardiff City at the time in their heyday? I do remember, yeah. I remember getting told about it a lot. I think Joey used to tell us a little bit sometimes about it. I think, um, yeah, it's obviously great for them to be doing as, as well as they're doing and it's... Um, it's just all the clubs in Wales seem to be doing well at the moment, don't they? So I think, um, yeah, it's a real boost for the for the area. Uh, and Mickey Thomas, uh, you know, the, at one stage, Barry Town were flying the flag in Europe. Oh, Mickey Thomas has disappeared, has he? I'm, I'm not here, Rob. No, I'm here, Rob. I'm just going to ask Gavin, obviously, great time before and, you know, the history and that. I mean, how important is it to get them back to the, where, where they were before? I mean, it's going to be a long haul, is it, or short term? You want to get it quickly as possible? Oh, I'd love to get as quickly as possible, Mickey, but, you know, what has been achieved in the past by this club has been nothing short of uh, miraculous, you know. Um, I will say, though, um, some people may view that as being a hindrance, you know, having to live up to that past history and reputation. But for me, it's it's actually helped the situation because, you know, players actually really want to play for the club, and without that, it would be a lot harder than what it is. And it will take time, obviously, um, obviously, financial side of it as well. But, you know, on the playing side, you've got enough people want want to play for Barry Town? Oh, without doubt, yeah. And they're not just, uh, you know, ordinary guys as well. There's some really good players with good backgrounds and good pedigrees in the game who, who want to play by the philosophy that we, that we preach. And, um, you know, time is obviously of the essence, but in all reality, I think that maybe we, we can learn from mistakes of the past and, and try and put some structures in place that will be sustainable going forward. Well, Gavin, um, it, it promises to be a really big day Saturday, doesn't it? I, I, I mean, if you were to do well in the Welsh Cup, it, uh, I mean, the supporters, your supporters really have put Barry sort of back on the map through Twitter and the likes. But if you can get to the, uh, you know, the last eight of the Welsh Cup and beyond, it would really be a statement of intent, wouldn't it? Oh, I totally agree. You know, Twitter and, and all other forms of social networking have been a massive sort of tool for us. And it's certainly got our sort of uh, plight out there. Saturday's a huge game. You know, both teams like to play good football on the deck. Uh, both teams are, are re relatively young. And um, it should be a good game. You know, it's the first time we've been in round four since, I'm reliably informed, 2003. And the last time we got into round five was when we won it in 2002-2003 season. So it'd be nice to get there. You might be the most famous Gavin in Barry. <laughs> As opposed to Gavin sure and Stacey. That. I'm not quite sure about that. <laughs> well, we wish you the best anyway, Gavin. Thanks ever so much. Likewise. Thanks for having us on, guys. That's uh, Gavin uh, Chesterfield, the uh, Barry Town manager. They're playing Ponte Dowie Town in the last 16 of the Welsh Cup on Saturday. And Radio Welsh Sport on Saturday will be at uh, plenty of those Welsh Cup ties. Uh, it'll be just like the old days uh, with uh, the clubs battling for uh, progress in the Welsh Cup. So uh, we